Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We are back again. We're on a bit of a losing streak. Um, we do uh, have a few things to do here and there, but I think this time around, I'm just gonna go as... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I don't know. Maybe go to... I want to do a greed mode run today, because it's been a little while since we've done one, but I'm not sure who to go as. One of the vanilla characters could be good. Um, let's do Judas Greed, shall we? Uh, no, we can't. We did. We played Dark Juice yesterday, so let's not do Judas. Let's do Samson Greed. Um, this one shouldn't be decent. It uh, should be decent. Shouldn't I almost said shouldn't be decent? I do apologize um, if my voice sounds a little raspy. I hope it doesn't. Uh, I am a little under the weather today. Unfortunately, I've got up and I'm just very like congested. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not amazing. Don't know why my game takes so long to load now. Just have to stare at this little keeper face for all of time. Anyways, um, let's see what we've got in our item room to start off. As for the question of the day, just keep it, keep it simple, keep it basic. When was the last time you were ill and what was wrong? Because I know that changed from time to time. I'm going to do some risky shit here. Come on, come on, come on. You bastard. You bastard. Get out of there. Sprinkler is real good. I'll see if I can survive. I've put myself in a rather precarious position here. But basically my thinking was, I could have got an item more so if I get really high damage on the first wave, I shouldn't be too bad. Remember, this is greed mode, not greedier. So not only do we get more money, but the waves are a bit easier, I think. Or at least there's more time between waves. I don't actually know if the waves do differ. Uh, or if it is just the time between waves, but we now have really good damage going into this. Basically, my, my only main fear is champions slash the boss. Um, I think most other things we should be fine with. We're going to be able to two-hit kill most everything, so let's hope we can. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Champions is not good for me. Champions ain't good for me. Have you seen that video? That video is hilarious. It's just like a little southern kit. Is it southern? I don't even know the accent. But um, it's from like a TV show. I, it, it, it seems to be a TV show about like fat children. Um, and basically this woman's coming in like reorganizing his life um, to try and make him healthier. And oh my god, it's hilarious. Um, if you want to find it, just type into YouTube, bacon is good for me, and you will certainly find it. And it's just this kid getting like so annoyed that this woman's coming in and like taking his bacon away from him and stuff. And like, he's just sat on the bed and he's like... Uh, bacon is good for me. <laughs> it's, it's it's just so funny, um, <laughs> and like he like at one point he's like I'm packing my bags. I'm going. <laughs> she comes out in this house thinking she's the queen, and we're the sorry people. <laughs> it, it's just it's so good. It's so good. It's just it's it's an internet classic. So I'd be surprised if there's a lot of you out there that haven't seen it, but. Still, um, I need you to not be who you are, thanks. We did get a crawl space here, which I'm rather intrigued by. Um, I'm going to grab the sprinkler, because sprinkler's going to be pretty good for us. I'm going to grab a key. I would like to grab that box as well there. Um, I don't actually know how good this is, I'll be honest. Punching bag is pretty interesting, but not always useful, so we'll we'll see. But I think this is the first time I maybe have ever seen a crawl space in greed mode, so that's that that's definitely interesting. Um What have we got here? There is an item over there, but it's a reflected item, which scares me. Oh dude! That little skull thing can teleport and move around. Um let me grab a heart. Just to make sure I'm a little safer. And then I'll try and do this. Right, little skull thing. We got it. This guy ain't so bad. Can we kill these things? I can never remember if you can kill him. You can kill him, okay. Um, Man is shot speed. Tears accelerate as they travel, gaining piercing once they reach enough speed. Um... I have an issue. I can't. Excuse me, game. I'm very annoyed here. One minute. I might be able to get it if I do this. Yes. 
Huzzah! Okay, don't even know if it's worth having two of them. We got the tiers for both of them and double the shot speed down, so I think it's good. And it works on our it works on a sprinkler too, so I'm happy about that. There's apparently a pin about somewhere, but I ain't seeing him. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that Pin might be stuck underneath my sprinkler. It says that he's right there. I didn't know that was plausible. But uh, I guess I'll have to spawn in like a death card or something? I don't know what would actually kill him. I'll be honest. Yeah, the uh, Pin seems to be stuck underground for now. Which is an interesting development. Right. Um. Spawn. 5.300 point. Maybe, maybe just try this. See if, like, popping a full card does anything to reset him. Okay, it does. Good. Right. Okay, no, Pin is just completely fucked in this mode for some reason. Um, I don't know which one the death card is. This is going to be a bit tricky. It's going to be a bit of trial and error. Maybe that works? No. Empress. I know that that's um, Emperor. No. God damn it. Maybe if I just enable quick kill. Um, debug. Is it debug 8? Debug five. Ten. Yeah, quick kill. Okay. We've already killed you as well, so that's fine. Okay. Bugs aside, we're carrying on. Uh, that was a little bit weird. Yeah, we got a bunch of cards here that I'm not going to obviously engage with because we technically don't deserve them. Ooh, hello, Steven. You managed to teleport on me. Can one of you get distracted by my little buddy here? That would be most, most lovely of you. I like the way he's got a little visual for when he's going to teleport now. That was a problem that I had with him before, but I'm glad that they've, uh, they've sorted out. Now you actually know when it's coming. He does that little phase sort of thing, whatever you want to call it. Didn't get to use our sprinkler for this boss, but that's mostly okay. I'm going to go for angel deals here as well, I think. Okay, you shouldn't be too bad now. Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm going to go for angel deals. And I will buy this box here. And I guess I want to be using it in here. It's not good, but I'm going to take it. Just because we get piercing with this. And I feel like that could be interesting. Also, with Sprinkler, it might be kind of wacky. So, I'm intrigued to find out if, uh, if Sprinkler... Kicks this up a notch, so to say. Anyways, to the next floor. To the next floor, let's go. We are going to lose a significant amount of damage. Oh, secret room, hello. Two soul hearts is lovely. Thank you for this. And we will head on our way. Yeah, this is quite the weird one. Quite the weird one indeed. But I gotta say, I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. Also, a cheaper key. I like that. Crack that open. Quickly bomb these two, see if we get anything extra. Sadly not. Typeset's really good. We'll take typeset. I don't know what that other thing was. And then we've got... This one, which is reflected. Oh, no. The HP was reflected. Damn it! I took the wrong one. That still gave us a HP up regardless, though, so that's fine. But yeah, we have lost some damage here, but, um... It's good. Sprinkler just adds to our swarm. And considering our swarm gets piercing, this should... It's its a little difficult to use, but this should kill things pretty fast. Just because we're, we're able to cover most of the room. It's just going to be the usage of it, like, actually getting it to hit where we want it to hit when we want to hit. That's going to be a little bit tricky. Typeset essentially just gives us um, the effect of uh, Broken Murdom. Uh, like a chance to affect an enemy with that on hit. You'll see the little like loading thing above their head whenever it triggers. 
It's pretty good. It's it's pretty much like a budget um, budget broken murder, which I quite like the idea of, to be honest, because the broken murder is a really strong effect. So I don't mind having a slightly weakened version of it, and even then, it's not really that weakened because it still triggers all the time. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit hard to hit what you want to hit. Okay. Do we have another issue of... Okay, no. I was going to say an issue of enemies staying underground here. Luckily not. Okay, he's going to do his tail pop. Oh, he's going for my buddy. Not what I would have expected. Good stuff. And then the coolest, the the most dapper Rainmaker you've done ever seen. Oh, also there's an enemy here. I didn't need to see that guy. Hey, I guess I was not privy to your uh, your presence within this room. I apologize, my good sir. Next time I'll pay more attention to you. And because we've got the, the sprinklers helping us out, we go straight for the boss. It's Rainmaker again. Yeah, this is, this is a little tricky to do full damage to the boss, to be honest. Because uh, we, we basically get like a second of this swarm passing over the boss and that's it. So we've got to make the most of it whenever it happens. It's, it's, it's a little tricky, to be honest. There you go. Awesome. It's a little tricky, to be honest. Right. And there it is, baby. That is is what I'm talking about. Holy shit. Okay, homing on this is going to make this incredible. Um, I will go for a few rerolls here. I'll also buy cheaper key. Um, nah. Yeah, I'll go for that. Thank you. And we'll skedaddle on down to the next floor. But so far, this run got some spice. Sacred Heart, of course, always an item you want to see on a run. I actually think the Sacred Heart could do with a nerf. Some people, like, it's it's kind of a weird thing, because obviously most people are going to be like, excuse me, what? You want to nerf a good item? Are you bizarre? Uh, but it's like, I don't know, it's one of those items that's just, like, so obscenely strong. It's kind of like Revelations, in my opinion, where it just, it just has too many things. 2.65 damage multiplier is redonkulous. It also has homing, it also has the shot speed down, and it also gives you a, a, a HP up and full HP. It's like, do two of those things. Don't do all of them. I, I, I like having OP items, but at the same time, it is just redonkulous how good it is. It's absolutely ludicrous, I'll be honest. But, now with homing, this should be very, 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 very easy for us. Oh, damn. We re-rolled our uh, rocks there and managed to destroy them, thus getting a Tinted Rock from the the, ba the Milk of Baphomet, which gives us a random on-hit effect. So we got pretty lucky there. The only thing with the, 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 the Baph Milk of Baphomet, there's a, a small but actually real chance that on-hit we re-roll our entire run. <laughs> I will say we have got a little mediocre bit of lag going on. I think that's just because we have such a large swarm of tears to, to mess around with here. It's not crazy, to be honest. It's manageable. We got the door boy. <laughs> Alright then. Ow. I am taking quite a bit of damage here, but I'm not going to fret. Oh wait, that wasn't the real boss. Or did I just get the same boss? Oh no, I just got the same boss back to back. Quite a lot of bombs from that guy as well. That's rather nice. Oh boy. This is quite the run. You want to pop up? Do you want to pop up? There you go. Devil deal there. I mean, I, I probably could take a devil deal at this point. Let's check it out at least. Why not? Okay, both of those are very, very good. I'm just going to take this one though. And let's see what we got here. Honestly, nothing here takes my fancy. Um, chance to fire clumps, clumps leave fast on impacts, clumps kill normal enemies instantly. Go for that, why not? And then we'll take that as well. 
lovely stuff. That was a flaw that went by in, in a jiffy. Very speedy. I reckon we're going to have a just dandy time killing greed here. Let's try and get as much money as we can from this floor onwards. I think we've got enough to go with. Yeah, Miss Puda. Um, black. One da Actually, the one damage is pretty good there. I'll take a one damage. Right, yeah. I think we're, we're more than okay to just um, stick with what we have now. Not take anything else and just go for the um, gathering of coinage. But yeah, the, the fact that we get herming with this setup... Rogue Planet, the piercing as well is actually a big help, but Rogue Planet just becomes a completely different beast. Also, these eyes are a little annoying. Ow. Thank you. Just look at that. Sister Viz? More like Sister Invisible, because you're dead now. Oh shit, there's another one of you. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is... This is something else right here. Lump of coal would be nutty as shit. Unfortunately, I actually don't think we have lump of coal unlocked. Because I keep getting Krampus's head, which makes me think that I just actually don't have lump of coal unlocked at all. I feel like that's the case. Right, let's not buy anything from here. Um, let's take some spicy keys here just to get some more keys going. Cool. And we should be able to get to 99 or close to it, I think, in the next two floors. We don't spend anything. Siren's Call is okay, but I'm going to take this, which is... Hmm... I've lost my piercing, but I don't know if I actually have or if it's just lost visually. I think it's just lost visually. I don't think it's actually gone. No, it's not. Okay. But for, for some reason, visually, they are, it is gone now. Oh my god, just look at that swarm. Holy fuck. Keep spawning enemies in the worst places. Spawn them up here. Yeah, just the more the more sprinklers we put down, the more we stack up the tiers, the more lag we uh, incur. I think it's going just fine here. Ow. I'm getting hit by a lot of stuff, but it, honestly, at the end of the day, it doesn't seem to matter too much. There you go. Has that flaw done? Just look at all the tears. Just look at it. I mean, yes. <laughs> that seems like a good deal. It's a 91 already. You can probably buy some stuff now if you want to. Allows Isaac to carry two trinkets. Belly button looks kind of interesting here. Um, let's do a reroll, but just, just the one. I will take 15% um, chance to gain an extra item charge on clearing a room. It's pretty good. I will take this just to see what's underneath it. Yeah, we'll take that too. Cool. Go to the next floor. This is going to be a rather speedy run. A rather speedy one indeed. What's in the shop? What's in the shop? Electric dice. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, baby. This is a hard one because it's pretty rough to get enough uh, keys to do anything here. I'll play them once and see what we get. Red key. Come on, come on, come on. You bastard. I can't I can't pay to play you anymore, but getting electric dice would be really good for a potentially getting up to three sprinklers in the boss fight. Make sure to keep a charge on sprinkler for the actual boss itself as well. Do not forget about that. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. 
I like the way we have those tiers, the necrotic ones that can potentially insta-kill. And I genuinely don't know if they've ever actually activated because we just insta-kill most things anyways. That's a bunch of pins right there. Oh god, we got... Yeah. For some reason, pins are just um, completely bugged in this mode, so I'm going to have to quick kill them. I mean, we kind of quick killed this guy anyways, but you know what I mean. Right, we've got a good bit of money out there. Let's buy two more keys. Try this out. Bastard. That's not even... You better not pay out now. Okay, good. You big fucker. Right, we are good to go. There's a dime. Might as well buy two more keys, just to try it out. Come on, big boy. Give me the red key I need. Fuck you! How are you so difficult to pay out? Bullshit, boy. That's such an expensive thing to play and you don't pay out. Bullshit. Right. Away we go. Give me that dime. Up to 99. And we do be off. Not that we need the pennies, but pick them up anyways. Right. I don't know how quick of a kill this is going to end up actually being. We'll see. I think the um, ocular rift shots are going to be really good for keeping him at bay. What even hit me then? Legitimately, I have no idea. Oh! Um, I think there's something buggy going on with this guy. But, yeah, what the fuck? What hit me then? I wasn't near anything. He seems to have, like, a much larger hitbox than he should do. Maybe it's something to do with the, um, the typeset item. Bugging out or something. But, like, he seems to have a much larger hitbox than his visual would represent. Like, what the hell? I don't know if I got... I might have been hit by an actual coin tier there. Do you know what? If this is going to keep happening, I think there's a genuine chance we die. Like, he's not dying very fast, and we've been hit, hit three times already. Like, he, I mean, he's dying pretty fast, but... Due to the nature of this guy being a big old goof, he's a little, little bit difficult to deal with. And also the nature of the way that our shots work. We basically get like a second of solid damage before our tears go behind our back. The homing certainly helps give us an extended time. But it's not like a ton. Okay, the keys are in. I don't know how many of the keys I managed to destroy. I don't think it was all of them. Oh no, seems like it was. Surprising to me. Keys again. They're fairly easy for us to destroy just because they have such low health. Okay, we're doing much better now. We haven't been hit in a good better time. Yeah, these are the Healy Hearts. Not having you heal up, big boy. It's good having a build where you're able to kill like all the coins instantly. And that's going to just about do it, though. Yeah, there you go. That was a bit of a crazy one, I'll be honest. Bit of a crazy one. Um, we can do a bit of donating here. Lusty blood unlocked, lovely. Um, if my tears could stop, that'd be very nice. Hey, special shopkeepers.
Don't you be jamming. Damn it. I was really hoping we get the last 11 in there. Either way, very good run. I think that was a lot of fun. And I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.